All right, in this video, I'm going to go through onboarding a device into Teams Rooms Premium. So to do that, we'll go to rooms, uh, sorry, portal.rooms.com, or in this case, you can go to rooms.com and click sign in. Now, if this is the first time you're doing it, if this is the initial sign in for the Rooms Portal, you're going to be asked some information to fill out. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with the account here, Michael at TeamsDevicesLab.com. That's already configured within my within Windows here. So I'll use that. Uh, accept the license terms. So read through those. And now uh, it's kind of already taken from my tenant information, my first name and last name. So I'm going to fill out the information about my organization. There isn't a lot going on at TeamsDevicesLab.com. So let me just go ahead and fill all this out. All right, so I can click on the Get to Know Microsoft Managed Teams Rooms Portal, which takes me to a video here, right there. So it's kind of a walkthrough if you're not familiar with what you're getting into, which is pretty nice. It gives you the introduction and everything that you need. All right, I clicked Submit before I clicked on this video. And so here I am, let me close out of this. All right, here I am. So this is the Teams Rooms Portal. So you can see there's, you know, not a lot going on. There's some settings in here. I can do some things. And what I really need to do now is uh, create a group of administrators. So right out of the gate, I need to know who's going to administrator, uh, administrate Teams Rooms Premium. So I click on that Managed Services Administrator, go to Assignments. I'm going to add a new assignment. And I'm just going to call it like Teams Devices. Uh, Teams Devices Lab Administrators, and go ahead and change the spelling. Uh, admin, uh, calling it Administrators is redundant, so Teams Devices Lab. And give it a little description. So this will be my Global Teams uh, Rooms Premium Administrators. And yeah, do email notifications next. I need to add, um, I need to add the names of the people. So I'm going to go ahead and add myself first. So through, you know, tenant lookup of my tenant, it finds it. Let me go ahead and add Adele Vance as well. And um, Nestor Wilkie, let's add a third one in. So I'm going to add Nestor Wilkie as well. So these are going to be my three administrators that have complete rights within Teams Rooms Premium uh, to do manage all of my Teams Rooms. So that we can see uh, all rooms and all groups. And then add assignment, and these will be added. So cool, I've got that done. I have my um, administrators created and assigned. All right, after clicking done, I'm returned to this screen. Let me go back to the home screen. And if you'll notice in the upper right, there's like that question mark. And so that's for help. That also lets me know, uh, sorry, gives me access to the instructions there, the installation guide for the agent. So on Teams Rooms, we have to install an agent and that agent then is what talks between the Teams Rooms and the Teams Rooms Premium Portal, so the device and the portal. So there's some information for security and URL requirements and things like that, but uh, we're gonna kind of go through all of this. And the first thing we need to do is go and download the installer. So. Uh, let me flip back to the portal and go to um, go to the download installer, which again is under the question mark. On the right hand side there, there's the agent installation guide. Now if you click on the installer and it doesn't download right away, it may take you to the general page where you can manually click download installer and you'll see in the upper right it's starting to download that release.zip. So let's let that download. And while that's downloading, I'm gonna go ahead and download my key. So there's a unique key that will tie the Teams Rooms device to my tenant. So we'll end up, so let's I'm gonna download that key, save it to uh, my downloads folder, and then copy it over to my Teams Rooms in the C colon slash Rigel directory. Okay, while that's downloading, I'm going to remote desktop to my Teams rooms. So I'm going to just sign in as administrator. Um, this isn't domain join, so no fancy accounts or anything. And I'm going to then copy from my downloads folder 
uh, and paste the key into that c colon slash rigel directory. And while doing that, uh, the release.zip file completed downloading on my PC. So I'm going to take that file and copy it just to here onto uh, the desktop of the Teams Rooms Premium. Once that's copied over, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Uh, just extract it to wherever. In this case, I'm just going to extract it to the desktop. And there's that managed rooms installer.msi. So let's launch that, see what happens. All right, let's accept the terms in the license agreement and go with install. And let's let this go. It doesn't take terribly long, but I'm just going to fast forward here real quick. Okay, after that agent is installed, if you wait a few minutes, you can see I now have one managed device in that rooms area, and there is my uh, Teams Rooms Premium. It's in an onboarding state, so you can't do a whole lot with it, but I can kind of click around now and see some of the information. Um, like here, I can see what account is signed in. It's taken a moment, uh, but that will populate. We can see that I'm in Teams only mode and we can see the account and things like that. If I click on meetings, uh, those are the settings I have. So from here I can change them. So I can update my settings. There's some information about my device, make, model, and my peripherals. So that stuff's been pulled in. No activity yet because it's uh, pretty new. So uh, let's end this here and go on to the next step. Now, right now, my Teams Rooms account isn't licensed for Teams Rooms Premium. It only has Teams Rooms Standard. So I'll never be able to get past the onboarding phase with a Teams Rooms Standard license. So I'm going to go to uh, Admin Center, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, find my user, which is that Town View, sorry, Town View Conference Room 1, and change it to uh, from Teams Rooms Standard. There it is to Teams Rooms Premium right there at the bottom, save changes. And then I'm gonna wait for that change to replicate throughout the tenant and then bounce back over to uh, the portal and do the enroll. Now I don't know if it's needed, but I also did a reboot, just seemed like a good idea. So we still see my device now after the reboot, it's still sitting in onboarding. Now I go down to the bottom and click enroll and now the magic will happen now. I can start getting data, start seeing reporting, start seeing events throughout Teams Rooms Premium. So now my device is fully enrolled into Teams Rooms Premium and uh, they can start getting management. I can start getting my notifications and all those good things. That's how you enroll a device into Teams Rooms Premium.